Well, hello, welcome to School of the Spirit. I'm so excited to come your way again on this platform where we discuss strictly matters of the Spirit. All right, if you want to grow and know more of God intimately, this is the platform for you. Now, we've been discussing on discerning, on spiritual discernment. And the last episode, we talked about discerning the will of God. And I felt that we should um, talk further on that because, like I said, spiritual discernment is a quite a broad subject. And we want to see how we can touch every aspect of it um, for your understanding and for your growth. Now, Jesus prayed a prayer in Matthew chapter 26. And the Bible tells us that he prayed that prayer three times. This was during his passion just before he was arrested and um, he went to the cross in matthew 26 the bible says in verse 39 that he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed saying oh my father if it is possible let this cup pass from me nevertheless not as i will but as you will and then in verse 44 the bible says he went away again and prayed the third time, saying the same words. Now, if Jesus will pray a particular prayer three times, repeating the same words, that means we need to study and um, observe what kind of prayer that is. Because Jesus Christ is our model as far as knowing the Father and growing spiritually is concerned. And the Bible tells us that he prayed for the will of God concerning what he was about to step into. And we're talking about discerning the will of God. It is very important that we critically understand God's will for our lives as it has to do with situations, as it has to do with we interfacing with seasons of life and the decisions that we make. So I want to give you three ways by which you can discern the will of God over any matter um, towards decisions that you are about to take or when you are within a particular season of life. Number one is by praying the prayer of inquiry. The prayer of inquiry is the shortest access to discerning God's will over any matter. Inquiry simply means asking questions, profitable questions that are relevant to your understanding of the current situation at hand. So when you pray the prayer of inquiry, you are already asking for access to the will of God over that issue to know how you will participate. So it is important that when we are faced with situations in life, we learn to Pray the prayer of inquiry. David prayed that prayer in First Samuel chapter 30. You remember when the Amalekites came and took captive everybody from the city of Ziklag, burnt it down and also took his two wives. He and his men came and they were discouraged by what they saw. But the Bible says that David encouraged himself in the Lord and he asked God, Should I go? Will I overtake them? That was inquiry inquiry and God has asked us time and time again in scripture to inquire of him over issues when you inquire of God you are granted by God access into his mind and his purpose towards that situation towards that individual towards that decision that you are about to take so the first step to discerning the will of God is by praying the prayer of inquiry the second step is by asking in prayer that the will of God be birthed over that situation. Now, this happens when you are already in the middle of that situation. You are already in the middle of the decision or you have taken some actions and you are now confused. You don't know what to do. Or you are overtaken by crisis and you become confused not knowing where to turn to or what next is coming you simply ask god in prayer to birth his will 
in that situation. The moment you do that, you have turned that situation over to God. You have handed over the matter to the hands of God. You have activated what I call God's insurance policy. And it is found in Romans chapter 8 verse 28. It says, For we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and them that are the called according to his purpose. The only reason why all things will work together for good is because they are called according to his purpose. So because we are connected to the purpose of God, we are connected to the will of God, all things, regardless of the state that they are in, in our lives at that time, will work out for our good. Now the working together may not be favorable, may not have favorable conditions, but you know that the end of it will be good. So you can discern the will of God over a situation by asking that God will birth his will. Let's say you need to buy something or you need to make a purchase or you need to make an investment and you really want to but you are not sure if you have to. This is the kind of prayer to pray. Oh Lord, birth your will in this situation. It's as, it's as though you are asking God's invisible hands to come in and manipulate the situation according to the counsel of his will the third step to discerning the will of god when you are faced with a situation or faced with a matter or you are in the middle of a season or contemplating a decision the third step to discerning the will of god is to pray in accordance with his promises captured in scripture now the scriptures are the expression of god's will in written form the scriptures are the expression of God's will in written form. It is filled with different promises of God. These promises help us understand the possibilities that are obtainable in the kingdom. The possibilities that are obtainable in God. So when you ask, make sure your request is captured within the context of these promises. It's more like a child asking for what they know their father can do for what they know their father can provide in first john chapter 5 verse 14 the bible says that we have this confidence in him and the confidence is that whatever we ask according to his will even though it is whatever it is yet according to his will there are still boundaries and jurisdiction within the will of god within the circumference of god's will which are expressed in scriptures so Make sure your prayer is galvanized and situated within the context of scripture. That you are asking for what you know God can do. And of course God can do all things. But much more, you are asking for what you know God will do or God will love to do for you. Now, a five-year-old child shouldn't ask for a car except they are praying for it for their parents. And that's the reason why many of us seem to experience delay when we ask God for certain things. Perhaps what we are asking for, we are not matured enough to handle. Or what we are asking for has been designated to a particular season or time of our life and existence on earth. And so where you are currently uh, means you are not where you ought to be as far as the scope of that thing is concerned and so these three ways can help you quickly discern the will of god over any situation remember the bible says in romans chapter 12 and in verse 2 that we will be able to prove the good acceptable and perfect will of god when we allow god to transform how we think and transformation is the goal of jesus christ for every believer so the proof of spiritual maturity, the proof that you have been transformed in the image of Christ, is that your spiritual discernment grows, that you are able to discern the good, the acceptable, and even the perfect will of God concerning your life over every situation and every matter of destiny. I believe that these three steps will help you, especially in your prayers, and help you figure your life within the center of God's will. God bless you. I'll see you 
at the next episode.